welcome back. Later in the show, we'll be continuing our Day of Remembrance coverage with more survival stories from the labor camps. But first, we have an exciting ECB exclusive. Journalist Benjamin Giraud is here to talk about his story that has been making waves throughout the colonies and here on Earth. It's called Hunt the Truth, the Story Behind the Master Chief. And Ben is here to tell us about some exciting developments. Welcome to the program, Ben. Thank you. It's great to be here. Oh, I, Ben, um... I'm sorry. Hold that thought. We've just got a breaking development from Biko. After a tight-lipped investigation, Magistrate Laurel Adams and UEG officials have just released additional security footage and autopsy reports from the embassy massacre, issuing a joint statement that federal charges have been filed against an extremist group called Sapien Sunrise, effectively clearing the Master Chief and the Sangheili of any wrongdoing. The UEG called the massacre an attack against peace and vowed to continue supporting local diplomacy with alien delegations. Now, freshman Senator Andrew Del Rio also came forward to recant his earlier condemnations, calling the chief a perennial hero and saying, quote, every statue of him is a monument to be treasured. Now, according to his office, as of this morning, the senator is taking some time off for unrelated family matters. Wow. Well, Ben, you've been working on the Master Chief's profile for a while. Um, uh, what do you make of all this? Did you, actually, did you actually believe the Chief did that? Well, Ben, my speculations about guilt are irrelevant. Well, it, it's classic ONI half-truth. Yes, Chief was the hero on Biko, but the Sapiens couldn't have done it without the UEG. If you pull up the Adams conversation thread from the files I sent, you'll see what I mean. Oh, it, it appears we're still processing all of the files. Uh, just just a fine. moment on that. I, I can just pull it up here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm having issues with it, too. Nope. Oh, they better not have... I can't even... Hold, hold on, hold on, let, let me try it again. So wait, uh, uh, let's back it up, just for those unfamiliar whatever. with okay, your look, story. Look, okay, look. Are you saying... Sakibo asked the UEG for security help before the talks, and they rejected it flat out. Could have prevented a couple dozen deaths, but no, they didn't even well, read the request. Let's... And, and, and now they're peace partners with Adams? No, I mean, on. come on. <laughs> You're saying the Biko Embassy made a federal security request but was left vulnerable because the Senate refused the request without proper deliberation? Arrogant negligence is what I'm saying. Right, but the embassy hasn't said that. Not to reporters. Well, not to anyone anymore, now that they're in on it. They took whatever earth table scraps they could get. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have a question. Where is Ray Kurzig? Um, I mean, he sent you the files, right? Yes, we received your files. And, and now he's not here. He was supposed to meet me here. Let's move on, What about Petrosky? I mean, is, is he going to disappear too? Corporal Petrosky is being patched through shortly. Let's yeah. change gears. Yeah, of course. Sorry. You were originally hired by Oni to do this story, correct? Yes, that's right. And what happened? Well, I stumbled on several inconsistencies between the sources, and they fired me. Y you were fired for finding inconsistencies? No, look... Don't act that surprised. You and I both know O and I makes you twist the story just, you know, to placate. But but this chief story, I'm telling you, was a whole other animal. At first, the cracks were small, but then it got worse and worse until nothing made sense, and I tried to fix it, you know, until, until I found out the truth. The sources they'd given me were fake. They were actors. I mean, not all of them. Some of them were real people who just needed a push, and others just had no problem feeding me the elaborate lie. But seriously, actors. How devious We're is that? We're still working to verify the legitimacy of all those files, but we have the video queued up. Uh, would you like to introduce it? Yeah, absolutely. So you're, you're about to see the actor who played Dion Govender, John's supposed childhood boxing coach. This guy had me hook, line, and sinker. And then I found this video of him honing in on his performance for the role. In Elysium City, people just disappeared back then. I don't uh, what's that? Mm. Ah, okay, okay. Because he's cracking here, right? Right, all right, cool. Uh, but we're, we're still good with the working class, urban, barbecue granddad overall, though, right? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna bring the waterworks with this guy. In Elysium. Okay, you can stop it there. Elysium. That's... I, I, I don't know what to say. I know. 
Uh, we are here with Benjamin Giroux for this breaking story. Uh, the team is working diligently to verify all of the evidence and documentation that Ben has provided surrounding his story, if you're just joining so, us. And, and, and here's the disgusting part, right? The real Dion is dead. That's how far O and I was going to cover this so, up. What exactly are you saying they were covering up? Uh, why would Oni go to the trouble of furnishing... Oh, I'll tell you exactly why. The Spartan 2 program. A ask yourself this. How did recruitment luck into such an amazing crop of heroes? They didn't wait to recruit them. Someone at O&I made a list of impressive young children, kidnapped them, replaced them with clones designed to die, secretly brainwashed the kids into soldiers, and then butchered half of them ben, in unethical medical off. procedures. First Were of you? all, what you describe is unconscionable. And if true, we're not talking about deceit here. What you're asserting here are capital crimes against humanity. Completely. That's exactly where I was, but I brought files... Hold there. Before you continue, I'm getting word that our team has just finished reviewing your files, including what we just watched, some of which are dated from 40 years ago. And I'm wondering, how do you explain the fact that all of the files you sent were created in the past two months? What? Ben, I don't know what kind of game you're playing here, but none of the seals are real. You've provided us with fabrications. What? No. The interviews, the documents, No, 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 no. All that's not true, now, I don't Charles. know what you're trying to do here or why you think you can come on no, my that, show that, that's and just... Wait, Charles, how, how I'm, can I'm you even entertain... D did you think that we wouldn't check? Okay, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. If that was somehow true, that, that I'm some mastermind who made this all up, why would I come here and admit my own crime? I have no idea, Mr. Giroux. Exposure, fame, ego, all of the above? <laughs> it wouldn't be the first conspiracy theorist who would no, come... No, no, that's not... No, no, See, no, that's on not. my program, we actually vet sources. Which is why I'm close to throwing you out of here. I'm on here, Charles, trying to expose government-sponsored mass kidnappings and child murder. Is that worthy of your program? Well, Ben, that would all be very brave of you if you hadn't completely fabricated all of it for your own self-interest. You don't believe me. Petrosky can verify all of this. Get him on the line. A ask the eyewitness. Can your guys handle that? <sighs> Happy to. Joining us now is retired Orbital Drop Shock Trooper, Corporal Anthony Petroski. Thank you, finally. Anthony, oh, hello. Good afternoon. Now, the honor is ours. It's always good to see a veteran in uniform. It's an honor to be here. Uh, if we can just jump right in. You've been working with Ben. Uh, yes, I've been in contact with Mr. Giro for several weeks Anthony, now. just tell him about the augmentations. There, okay, uh, Mr. They're, Giro, they're, you've been interrupting they're, they're since you got here. Anthony. Don't make me cut your feed. Uh, I'm sorry, Anthony. Uh, in, in what capacity did you contact him? Three months ago, I contacted uh, Mr. Giroux as part of a special investigation. What? The UNSC had been monitoring a new sect of violent insurrectionists uh, bent on starting interregional war. No, this is not something we've discussed. And my assignment what? was to infiltrate the group assignment. and expose a plot to smear a high-profile military figure. The Master Chief? Yes, sir. So you were undercover? Yes, sir. I was uh, posing as a disgruntled veteran, Anthony, sympathetic what, what are you to doing? extreme insurrectionist ideology. Anthony, Anthony, what are you doing? I made contact with uh, Mr. Giroux and, uh, and convinced him I wanted to help him demonize Oni. Anthony, don't do I this. I earned his trust helping him fabricate a statement that I had personally witnessed proof of atrocities. Anthony, don't do this. Mr. Giroux's you just please don't Cut do this. You are out of control. Anthony, I don't know what they Cut threatened you with. Don't do... Apologies. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Petrosky, please continue. I, uh... I helped Mr. Giroux construct dramatic interviews to make the revelation of his fiction as entertaining and compelling as possible for his listeners. So, you were helping make provocative statements for his show... But all the while, you were serving the UNSC in your role as an undercover agent? Is, is that correct? Yes, sir. Was any of it true? Did you witness anything that would corroborate the rumors about the Spartan program? Uh, the abductions? Or... No, sir. I have uh, never witnessed anything like that. I never saw a child with biological augmentation scars. And as to all the other stuff about Oni and the Spartan program, I was just dramatizing old military ghost stories. No one really believes those rumors. I'd imagine that would be difficult. Misleading the public, slandering a hero. Yes, sir. That's the hardest part. And you've never met John 117? No, I have never met John 117, but I would be honored to one day. He is the greatest hero of our time. And I want to go on record saying that. Well, uh, thank you for coming on, Anthony, and, and thank you for your service. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, we're here with Benjamin Giraud covering the story as it unfolds live. Ben, do you have anything to say for yourself? I don't know what Owen I did to him, but those are lies that he's been fed. They compelled a good man, a soldier, to lie, to make me look like Ben, let me try like to help an, you out. You, you know you're a puppet, right? Let's deal with facts. Perfect, perfect. Can you tell me where exactly you found the files you gave us that you're saying came from Oni? You... If there's a time to divulge sources, Ben, it's right now. I'm really getting sick of this. That I'm... makes two of us. Listen, I don't know what the time codes say, but I downloaded those files two days ago from a server I accessed in an abandoned ONI facility on Bliss, okay? You found your trove of government secrets in an unguarded shack? On a glass <laughs> you know, planet? I've seen the conspiracies you people pull together. I just never thought I'd end up embroiled Mr. in the middle Giroux, of Mr. I want to show you something. This footage was taken two days ago. Is this you entering the bunker on Bliss? What? The files you sent were all uploaded wait, wait, how did you get that two footage? days ago from that bunker we just watched you wait, walking no, how did into. You, no, how did you get this in footage? In a raid yesterday, local police found a large cache of weapons and that server of yours in that bunker. Are the you a oh, me a the, break. <laughs> the property the bunker sits on belongs to a shell organization with ties to an insurgent named Pharaoh, who earlier today was implicated by surviving members of Sapien Sunrise you, 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 as you, you, the you, arms uh, dealer who provided them with the weapons they they used in the embassy massacre. You're, you're, you're trying to pin Sakibo's death on Pharaoh? And the mods on those weapons she wasn't came involved from the in exact that. same place as the mods police found on the weapons in your bunker. Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Let me guess, I'm a terrorist who's been working for Pharaoh this whole time. God! No. Apparently, you're not working for anyone, Mr. Zero. What? What is We've that? We've also received this security camera footage from a few days ago showing two members of Sapien Sunrise no. entering your apartment no, no, building. No, 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 no. Where, They're not based Sapien's on preliminary no. reports They're from the coroner's they office, were o and I. they were murdered. They were murdered? So what was it? Hmm? A deal gone bad? No, they were O&I. And and they were coming thereafter, to kill me. Pharaoh for the first time me. ever, Oni agents got a hit on one of the proxy bank accounts used to fund Pharaoh's terrorist activities. Near your apartment, at an army surplus store. And here is a video of you making that transaction. Oh, and I had gutted my apartment. They sent people to kill me. She saved my life. She gave me some money. I was just trying not to die. We have all the feeds from the neighborhood. And the only people who entered your building that night were you and the two Sapien Sunrise members you murdered. They're not Sapiens, no. No, 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 no. Look, Mr. Giroux, mm -mm. Pharaoh, Whatever you call yourself, you got the they're soapbox doing you doing wanted. It. They're doing it. So if we could just skip to the part where you make your big rebel speech for all of civilization to hear, I would like to no, end listen. this circus of an interview. You, no? You don't need... Fine. Okay, you, I think I've reached I, my I, limit I, of sociopathic I, narcissism for the day. Where's Ray? What happened to Ray? Raymond Kurzig is just fine. We spoke with him yesterday. I don't believe a word coming out of your mouth. Ray did provide us with all of the files you'd given him, just as you asked. But he also gave us detailed information on exactly you. how you, you fabricated Where is he right now? I want it. proof that Ray Kurzig and his family are alive and well and moving freely. Get Ray on the phone right now. After all the reckless accusations of atrocities and treason, your self-righteous truth hunt has hurled at innocent people. Allow me to speak on behalf of our free press and everybody with a conscience in occupied space when I say without qualification that you are the atrocity, Mr. Oh, and I killed and shock. you they are killed the him. definition of a traitor. Or they put him in a black bag and threw him in a hole. I don't I don't know. All right, that's uh, but, but enough. Now, that's but enough. now, listen, I've heard so much in the past few months. I know, I know what it means when I say the chief is a hero. He's my hero. He should be everyone's hero. But you all turned on him. All you fair-weathered pricks. That's it. Cut him off. Mr. Giroux will now Make be exiting in the custody Decide of federal yourself. agents. Do not just let them tell you. Get off. Let's... Cut his mic. Cut his mic. You're done. Listen and you will find the truth. I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to apologize to everyone who had to witness that. These are the dangers of live reporting.
I am certainly not going to sit by and let that kind of deception take over my show. At least now, we know the real story. I'm Charles Kessler. We'll be back after this. Everybody saw it. The chief was cleared, and the world blew up in Ben's face. And now we finally had a story to tell ourselves. The hero and the traitor. That was the story we really wanted to hear. And as far as Oni was concerned, that's all this was supposed to be. All the ugly Oni rumors and chief smearing would be laid at Ben's feet. He would be tarred and feathered. And with Ben as a sacrificial lamb, the outer colonies would come back into the fold. Trade would resume, the waypoint buoys would power back up, and all of that incendiary anger would disappear into whatever hole they were throwing Benjamin Giroux in right now. Ben said it was his wounded pride, the way Oni tossed him aside, that finally set him off. They used him. I had to hand it to them. However, Oni did it, the way all those dominoes fell. It was inspired. I'd always thought I was too clever for all that. But in the end, I was just another pawn in their game. Their master stroke. The server on Bliss was Ben's undoing. It was bait. Whether I was meant to take it, or they knew I'd pass it on, either way, they played me. While Mishak and Ray and Petrovsky and everyone else that came near Ben's story got shown either the carrot or the stick, Oni hadn't offered me either. And since I didn't go down in their net, I'm free to walk away from all of this. I think deep down, Ben really just wanted respect. But that's not Oni's currency. For them, it's all about fear. But I'm not afraid. Not with what I've got. Ben was sloppy. But Ray wasn't. He sent the backups to someone he trusted too, just in case. This is my story now, my mission. So I'm picking up where Ben left off. I'm gonna carve out the truth and I'm gonna put it on display. Not because of any sort of lofty principle, no. It's just that wounded pride stinging me like it stung Ben. But unlike Ben, I prefer to do things Oni's way. And they're going to wish that I'd gone down in that net too. This is my investigation now, and I don't give a rat's ass about respect. This story is going to be all about fear. I'm Petra Janicek, and this is Hunt the Truth. <laughs>